All right, I'm going to work through a proof of the vertical angles theorem, and it states that if you have vertical angles, then you have congruent angles. So I'm going to start with a diagram here. So I'm just drawing a generic diagram so I have something to work with. And I'm just labeling my angles like this in sequential order, and I'm not identifying points here. I'm also going to do a two-column proof, which is fairly standard with high school mathematics. The first thing you want to start off is identify what you have to work with. What is given to you in the theorem to work with? And you can use from the if statement all the way up to the then statement. You can't use the then statement because that's what you're trying to prove. So I have two angles are vertical angles. So I have essentially this diagram. And I want to state that angles 1 and 3 are vertical angles and that 2 and 4 are vertical angles. These are my givens. The next thing that I want to do is I want to observe what is going on in my diagram. Notice that 1 and 2 are side by side. They have this straight line that makes up the base of them, and they are split by this ray. So this is an adjacent pair of angles that is linear. And this is by the definition of linear angle pairs. And we can actually go right around here. So 2 and 3, 3 and 4, and 1 and 4. And these are all by definition as well. So I want, in the end, to have some kind of statement about 2 and 4 or 1 and 3. So what else can I do here? The other thing that I can do is that I can look at the fact that linear angle pairs are also supplementary angles, and we get that through the supplementary angles theorem. So 1 plus 2, angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degrees. And 2 plus, angle 2 plus angle 3 is also 180 degrees for the same reason. Now I have a statement of angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degrees, angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degrees. So I have that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 3 by transitivity. And then I can subtract the angle 2 from both sides because I have angle 2 occurring on both sides and so we are just going to subtract that out. Um, and that comes to us essentially from the angle addition postulate. And at this point, we have shown that angle 1 and angle 3 are equal to each other. We really want to show that they're congruent, so that's really just one more step. This is definition of congruence. At this point, we've proven essentially what we wanted to prove, that two angles are, if two angles are vertical, then they are congruent. We've got one and three here. Uh, by a similar argument, you can argue that two and four are also congruent. So we have this um, enough for what we need it at this point. You can argue the other to yourself. Cheerful calculations.